Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to find the best stocks using the Scans trading platform. If you're not familiar with Scans, their old name used to be Equity Feed and they have since gone under a rebranding. They've also refreshed their app as well. So we're gonna be going over some of the best features as well as how to set everything up just like I have on my trade station. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button, also subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down below this video and click on the link to go to the Scans website. You can sign up using their seven day trial to see if it's right for you. And as far as pricing options go, you can customize it to your trading. Once you set up your account and download Scans, start the program and you should see this small window. This is called your Launchpad and it's the main dashboard for Scans. From here, you can create scanners, news screeners, stock alerts, complete montages, stock watch lists, window layouts, access broker trading, and your scan settings. So the first window that we're gonna create is this scanners window. So go ahead, press the pro scanner button. And this first scanner will be the scan for stocks priced between 10 cents and $10 so that are also up at least 5% on the day with less than a 35 million share float. And this covers pretty much 95% of the stocks that I ever trade. So this scanner is gonna be very important. Leave the settings to show all stock types, but change markets to only NASDAQ, NYSE, and Amex markets. I have a separate scanner for OTCs that we will set up after this one. If this next line is not showing for you, then simply press the add new rule button shown above. So click on choose an analytic and then select price data, price, and then last. Make sure the next box says is greater than or equal to and then value and type 0.10. Do the same thing, but this time make it less than or equal to $10. Sweet. Now, if you run the scan real quickly, you will see that it only shows you stocks between 10 cents and $10. But we need to refine this a bit further though. So go back to the settings window, add another rule, and this time select price data, percent change, and percent change is greater than or equal to five. Add another rule, and now select fundamentals, share structure, and float and make this so it's less than or equal to 35 million shares. One last thing that my scanner has, which isn't required, is another rule that checks to see if the liquidity trades, days trades, is greater than 250. Awesome, now you have your scanner all set up. You can still customize it more though. Specifically, you can change the order of these columns that appear, as well as what columns show up. Now, this is always personal preference, so make sure that you find the setup that works best for you. I will show you mine, as well as show you how you can customize this directly to your liking. First, here is what my scanner looks like. As you can see, the columns I have selected are symbol, news, last, the percent change, float, dollar volume, share volume, and number of trades. Now, if you want to customize your own scanner, it is extremely simple to do so. Simply right-click the header of any of the columns, and you'll see a few settings. When you hover over the insert column setting, you'll see a list that resembles the analytics list in the scanner building. Hunting through these settings will find you almost anything that you're searching for. You can also drag and drop your columns as well as click and drag the side of them, which will change their size. Once you're all done setting up your scanner, make sure to go back to the scanner builder and press save scan. Now give it a name and press save. Go back to your scanner window and click the hamburger setting icon at the top and press open settings. Here, you can change the size of the font as well as the size of the individual cells. So play around with this and adjust to your liking. You're all done with this scan for now. Simply minimize it, don't close it yet, and go back to the dashboard and open up the Pro Scanner Builder again. If you have the previous builder open, use that one to save a bit of time. This time, we're gonna make the OTC scanner that I use. If you don't care for trading OTCs, simply skip to the time shown on the screen to get to the next step. Make sure that the scanner is set to only OTC markets at the top and use the following values in your scanner. Last price is greater than or equal to 0.0005 and less than $2.50. And day's dollar volume is greater than or equal to $25,000. And that's all I use. My OTC scans are very rudimentary since I don't focus primarily on OTCs and I only typically care about the top gainers which I find by ordering the percent change in the scanner itself. So now save this scan as OTC scan. 
The columns that I have shown in my OTC scanner are very similar to my NASDAQ scanner. I have symbol, news, last, percent change, float, and volume. The only reason why I don't have dollar volume is for space purposes. So now minimize or set aside both scanners while we move on to the news screener. Once again, do not close those scanners yet. Go back to the dashboard and press news. From there, a default news scanner will pop up immediately. If you want, you can make a separate OTC news screener by simply filtering by market, price, and other variables that you see fit. I don't have one of those for screen space reasons, but I'll show you how to make one as well. So my news scanner primarily targets small cap penny stocks with news, which allows me to reach to them in pre-market and be notified of midday news drops if they happen. On the news screener window, press select markets and choose NASDAQ, NYSE, and Amex. Next, I like to go to the news types and uncheck promo, since that will just lead to pump and dumps, which I don't want to see. Under filter, I have the following settings. The current price is from 50 cents to $10 the current dollar volume from $25,000 to unlimited, and the float is less than 100 million shares. Press filter now, and that should be set. Once again, you can go into the settings of the news screener by hitting the hamburger settings icon, and then press open settings. Here, you can edit the size of the font of both the headlines, the ticker information, as well as the news article text. You can also choose to turn on sound alerts if you wish, I find these extremely helpful when awake at 4 a.m. in the morning. The sound alert one will take your attention right away and has caused me to find some great news releases right when they have come out. Close the setting window out and from here if you don't want to create an OTC scanner then press the settings list and hit hide top menu. If you do want to create an OTC scanner then press clone window. Then hit the select markets button and change this to selecting OTCs only. Then press filter and have the price ranging from 0.0002 to $2.50, half percent change as up at least 5% and volume as at least 250,000 shares. You can also go back into the settings and rename this window if you like. Sweet, you're all set up. Now it's up to you to basically arrange these windows as best as you can on your monitors. This is where having multiple screens really comes in handy. While it isn't absolutely essential, it can really save you the headache of trying to manage alt tabbing through 50 different windows since you don't have the screen space to show them all simultaneously. Once you have everything set up how you want it, go back to the dashboard and press the layouts button and then create a layout. Fill out a name that's appropriate, for example, desktop, and then press save. Now, whenever you open up scans, you can simply reaccess the layouts window and open your saved preset very quickly and easily. Now that you have your basic layout set up, let's go a bit more in depth into specific features that I highly recommend you, you utilize within scans. Firstly, whenever you click or double click on the ticker symbol, you will open up a montage window with that ticker symbol already searched. This can be very useful when you want to look at specific fundamentals, or news items of a company that, that you see on the list, simply open up the window and easily flip through the news articles, their company profile, their share structure, financials, and short interest. You can also get a very quick glimpse of the level one data, like the amount of trades done today and the dollar volume, and you can also see their stock chart. Of course, all this depends on which package you have with scans. So once again, make sure that you only get what you truly need. The next main reason why I highly recommend scans over any other scanner is the fact that they link news articles directly from within your custom scans. This makes my morning process extremely streamlined and honestly saves me at least 30 minutes every single day. Compound that with 20 mornings a month, 12 months in a year, and you can quickly see how valuable this tool can be. Every morning I open up my scan and I simply rank my NASDAQ a scanner by highest dollar volume and by doing so I can quickly identify which stocks are getting the most action, the most hype, the most volatility, the most volume. And if I see a number next to the ticker's name, then I immediately know that they have a news catalyst. And if I click on that number, it will bring up the list of news articles right away. I can then open up the article and even highlight, copy and paste the news directly into my TradeBuddy chat room so my members are notified as soon as I am. And that is pretty much it. 
Obviously, the tool has a ton more features than that, but I'm not going to go and try to be a master and teach the whole thing. Scans has a very helpful education center that can walk you through their specific modules if you need any further guidance. This is simply how I use it and how I believe it's most effective to use it when trading the same niche that I do, small cap penny stocks. You can tweak these scanner settings completely to your own liking as they provide a ton of parameters to scan for. So be sure that you mess around and find what works for you. As I always recommend to my students, you should become extremely comfortable with the tools at your disposal when trading. You should spend hours messing around with it so that you know exactly how to navigate the platform whenever you need to use it. With all that being said, if you're a completely new trader and are in kind of a tight budget, you don't necessarily need to get scans. In fact, you don't need to get a scanner at all. Truly, the only subscription that you need to get is an education platform that also has a community of hundreds of traders that do have scanners, all whom share their findings in the chat room. More specifically, you need to be a part of the TradeBuddy community. This is a community that I put together about two and a half years ago because I noticed a massive hole in the education market. There was simply no one-stop shop for traders when it came to growing their education. And we provide a friendly trading community, one where you can instantly communicate with your mentors, with any questions you have, as well as network with traders of varying degrees of skill level so you can learn from everyone and cherry pick what works best for you. We also provide a fully fledged beginner trading course so that you can lay the foundational knowledge you need in order to trade effectively and become a process oriented trader. Lastly, you'll gain access to two daily webinars with me, one in pre-market and one at market close, and both are recorded in case you can't make it. So they're uploaded onto the website the same day and you can view them whenever you want. As an added bonus, I screen share both my scans and trade ideas scanners throughout the entire market open so that members can utilize the full benefit of both scanners without paying for them. All of this is available to try it with our 14 day trial for only $1. That's right, 14 days for $1. So click the link below to find out more and get signed up today. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate you destroying that like button as well as subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll see you in the next video.